Nicole's Little Treehouse presents Terry and the Magic Bean. Written by Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton and read by Stig Weems. Hi, I'm Andy. I live in a treehouse with my friend Terry and we make books together. I write the words and he draws the pictures. Hi, I'm Terry. I live in a treehouse with my friend Andy and we make books together. I draw the pictures and he writes the words. Hi, I'm Jill. I live in a house full of animals in the forest near my friends Andy and Terry. I like animals and solving problems and doing puzzles. And I'm Silky. I'm a cat Mary and I can fly. And I'm Jill's favourite pet. If you're like most of our listeners, you're probably wondering whether any of us are allergic to anything. Well, I'm not sure if Andy or Jill are, but I know I am. Electricorns, for instance, do not agree with me. And I'm not too fond of donkey bites either. <coughs> Ouch! And see into the future peanuts make my face swell up. But what I'm most allergic to in the whole world is magic beans. I discovered this one morning when Andy gave me some money to go and get a building permit for our treehouse. Go straight to the building permit office. Do not talk to anybody. Got it. Do not use the money to buy any see into the future peanuts. <laughs> of course not. And do not buy a horse, even if it's the fastest horse in the world. <laughs> of course not. And do not buy any talking goats. As if. Goats can't talk. <laughs> And do not buy any singing monkeys. Relax. I hate monkeys just as much as you do. And do not buy any solid gold goldfish. Nah, no chance. There's no way I could afford a solid gold goldfish. <laughs> and do not buy any mathematical mice. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I won't buy any type of mouse, I promise. And do not buy any performing fleas. Oh, <laughs> come on, Andy. Just how dumb do you think I am? And under no circumstances are you to buy any magic beans. <laughs> well, I'd never do that anyway because there's no such thing. And so I set off on my journey to the building permit office to buy a building permit for our treehouse. <laughs> but on the way, I met a very friendly man who was selling sea into the future peanuts. Dum -de -dum. <laughs> and luckily, I had exactly the right amount of money. So I bought a whole bag. Do they really work? Yes. All you have to do is eat one and you'll be able to see into the future. 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 But just as I was about to eat one, I remembered that see into the future peanuts make my face swell up. So I decided to trade the peanuts with the next person I met who was a fastest horse in the world seller. He's resting today, but he is the fastest horse in the world. Oh, Andy will be so pleased. But the horse wasn't particularly fast. In fact, it hardly moved at all. So I traded it for a talking goat. Hello! <laughs> Bonjour! But the goat only spoke French. <laughs> So I traded it for a singing monkey. <laughs> Can it sing happy birthday? 
But it turned out the monkey couldn't sing happy birthday. So I traded it for a solid gold goldfish. And is it truly, really gold? Would I lie to you? But the solid gold goldfish was so heavy, it couldn't even swim. So I traded it for a mathematical mouse. Tell him, Mickey. Two plus two equals five. Oh, well, it's actually four. But the mathematical mouse thought that two plus two equaled five. <laughs> so I traded it for a performing flea. Jump! Jump! J jump! No! But the performing flea refused to do any tricks. So I traded it for a magic bean. <sighs> After all that trading, I was really hungry. <laughs> really, really hungry. Oh, my stomach is rumbling. So hungry, in fact, that I decided to eat the magic bean. Flick! Yeah! Oh. <sighs> Suddenly, I didn't feel so good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then I felt worse. Oh, I feel worse. And then I felt even worse. And then... Just when I thought I couldn't feel any more worse, I completely blew up. <laughs> and that's how I found out I was allergic to magic beans. <laughs> Andy was quite upset when I arrived home without the building permit. Terry! Even the penguins were worried. <laughs> I can't watch this. I tried to get him to look on the bright side by pointing out that even though I blew up, I didn't die. <laughs> But he just put his hands around my throat and said, Well, you're sure going to die now. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. But I didn't die again because luckily, Mr Big Nose rang at that moment and Andy got distracted. Where's my book? Which was good. Because besides being allergic to electricorns, donkey bites, see into the future peanuts and magic beans, I'm definitely allergic to being choked by angry Andes. <laughs> the end. Thanks for listening. See you in the treehouse. <laughs>